So I am out here at Dancing Oaks Nursery and I'm with Leonard. And Leonard, we're gonna be talking about, I mean, when someone thinks about your place, they instantly think really super cool plants, but these are some for shade that are perennial plants that you're gonna show us that are really even more unique. Yeah, William, there's uh, some fun shade plants that they're, have beautiful leaves, um, nice flowers, um, and there's within that group, there's some that are very collectible or some for beginners that are less expensive, ground covers, very right. serviceable plants. Um, so anything that you're really looking for, whether you are an old time, I've been gardening for 55 years, mm -hmm. or whether you're just starting out, you've got something. Yeah, we've got something for everyone to, to start with. And uh, like this little one here, this is uh, an epimedium. That's a great family of uh, plants that uh, are good for shade, part sun. And Leonard, there's so many, isn't there? There's a lot of these different varieties. There are a lot. It's a very slippery slope, so you it have to is. be careful. <laughs> uh, but Bandit's like a very accessible gateway one you can get into that it has these uh, nice banding around the leaves. Beautiful. It's uh, white flowers. And this one makes a nice little clump slowly, about eight inches tall and maybe a foot and a half wide. And then uh, this one will go deciduous. Uh, another variety is an epimedium or barren wart or bishop's cap is a common name. I want to show this if I can so Jeff can see it. Yeah. They're just, ex they're such an exquisite bloom. They are, they're just uh, sort of like chandelier-like, uh, it's kind of also like spider-like blossoms or shrimp-like flowers, some people call them. Uh, that is uh, one called pink champagne and that's a clumper. So. That one um, doesn't move or make a ground cover for you, but gets about two feet tall and has that nice aspect as well of the beautiful foliage. Unbelievable. And, um, so very good family of plants for people for sure. And I can't, I mean, this one, this one just knocks your socks off. Yeah, that is a native, uh, the little bird's bill or shooting stars. And um, those have grow here in Willamette Valley uh, spring ephemerals, so they'll come up early, the leaves will come out, then the blossoms, and then by probably May, the leaves will dry up and they'll go dormant for the summer. So wow. you want to keep that in mind. Um, there's some others that are evergreen as well, like the saxifrage there is a nice... This beautiful thing right here. This plant for foliage. This and, looks like it's going to trail around, yeah, is that true? That is not a... it's a good weaver mixer with other shade plants, uh -huh. so it's not a problem. And then it has a beautiful, um, a tall, about eight inch to 10 inches tall, white uh, flower stem. And you said evergreen? Yeah. Wow, mm -hmm. nice. Evergreen through the winter. And what's the beautiful white one blooming? That's a family of wood anemones that are native to Europe. Uh, that is a double form. And it has a nice transition that it gets a blue eye in the center as the flower matures. It's, and it's starting to, look at that. Right, and oh, that is cool. gorgeous, yeah. And they will make a nice colony uh, over time, maybe get about um, oh, two feet across. And woodland conditions, as flowers early in the spring, the foliage will stay up until um, probably June and then go dormant. And then it goes down. And mm -hmm. you know, I know that these, uh, this variety might be super rare, but I love this plant. Yeah, the Solomon seals, they're just a uh, fun group of plants. They're easy um, and some are very fragrant. This one, the stems get deeper red as the uh, season progresses and the fall color on there is a beautiful golden yellow on the leaves. So you get the, the red stems and the golden leaves and some get like a nice blue black fruit on nice. them. And there's a some nice new collections coming from Vietnam and China of those for the collectors to, Super cool. to go after. And you know, th these continue to, I, I can, I'm not gonna lie, Leonard, I fail with these a lot and I keep trying, but <laughs> I love them so much that once you get them going, come on, how is that not exquisite? Right, yeah, they uh, has that velvety texture and uh, nice modeling on the leaves of the Asian May apples. This one is Spotty Dotty. Uh, there's an all green form as well. That that would be one for a beginner to start with, the all green one. If yes. you wanted something that's tough, a little easier to make a nice colony. Um, there's a beautiful other species called uh, Podophyllum delavii or uh -huh. delavii that has reddish um, kind of a cast to it with some darker modeling. Yeah, the, the, the solid green one I have had success with. So I can okay, I can tell you that if you're just starting out, follow my example and start with that because it was be and nice, beautiful, big leaves, mm -hmm. a stunning plant. And wh what's that, Leonard? That's a pig squeak. 
That's <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm going to take your word at it. <laughs> that's a Burginia. Common name is pig squeak. Uh, great family of evergreen uh, perennials in the saxifrage family. Um, the leaves can turn dark during the uh, winter, so you get these beautiful reddish cast, uh, big paddle-shaped leaves. And then that's a selection that has a double flower called sakura, which means cherry blossom. That's, nice. There are a lot of those, and that, that is a very popular and favorite right now. Well, you know, I have to tell you all that I can come out here and quite honestly spend hours. There's so many options and so many choices and, and great minds like Leonard is and his staff to help you with information. So if you uh, want to figure out how to get here and get some of the ideas that are going on, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their website. And remember, you can come out here and visit and you can also buy this wonderful stuff online. Leonard, thank you so much, my friend. Oh, thank you. It's been great.